welcome to my channel guys today we will be cooking jerk chicken and rice and peas so let's get into this video so we got chicken breast here yeah i got two packs because i'm supposed to be cooking for my brother and his company so let's get into this video complete seasoning adobo please correct me if i'm wrong seasoned salt mild jerk chicken seasoning we got our onion powder our jerk seasoning caribbean style marinating sauce we also got our garlic powder pepper olive oil in a nice white bowl now we about to put the chicken inside the bowl and get the cleaning process started oh my god this chicken got so much going on but we about to clean it so we ain't worrying about it Let's start off by washing, well, rinsing off our chicken so we can start the cleaning process. So let me tell y'all how I really just love cooking. And I'm only making jerk chicken and rice and peas because that's my brother's favorite. And like I said, I'm making him and his friends. Well, not his friends, but him and his company some food. Me, as, me too as well. But don't bash me in the comments talk about some what I miss in my seasoning because this is how I make my jerk chicken. So y'all stay tuned and watch the rest of the video if you want to learn how to make jerk chicken. So, I'm um, taking all the little gooey stuff that's on the chicken off in the fat. So, when I finish cleaning all the chicken, I will be back. Okay, I finished all the chicken. We're going to clean our bowl. My brother in the back asked me all these questions. But, yeah, we're going to clean our bowl so we can make sure our chicken is clean in a fresh bowl. So now I'm finna basically go back over the chicken, putting it back in a clean bowl, seeing what I miss of taking off the fat or the skins or whatever on the chicken. And then I'm just gonna basically start seasoning it after this. We gonna start off with seasoned salt. I usually let my chicken marinate in some salt water so we can kind of clean it a little bit with some lime. But we just gonna, you know, get a little salt in the meat real quick. You gotta mix that thing on up just like that there. Gotta make sure the flavor's all up in the bones. All right, y'all, let's start seasoning our chicken.
Yes, Lord. You got to flip that thing. Flip that thing. Get all that seasoning on all the chicken. The thing smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it. Now we're going to lastly put our little Caribbean marinating sauce. Make sure you shake it up so the sauce can get to the bottom. Yes, yes, yes. Then you're going to mess that thing on up like that. Mm-hmm. Flip, toast, flip, spin. Oh, now we on the stove. It's time to get lit. Your girl is too excited to cook, but um, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all get your peppers. Get your other peppers. And we can get our rice. Yes, rice and black beans. Shake it on up. Put that little oil in that thing. Yeah, I'm putting it here too. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get it all around the pan. Yes, so you open your peppers. Oh, Lord, I'm struggling a little bit. Struggling, struggling. You're going to get your peppers and then you're going to put it in your pan with the oil while it's getting hot. Let me tell y'all, rice do not cook until the water is boiling, okay? So you shake that thing on in there until you making you a hill and you see that rice coming on the top. All right, so we just going to end this out like that. Then we're going to mix that thing on up. So after three to five minutes, I like to store my rice after I feel like it's cooking a little bit and then I turn it down to low. So this trick right here that I'm about to do with, which is putting the plastic bag over the rice so the steam can sit and absorb. But I got this from a good Haitian friend that know how to make some good old rice. And I always had a problem with my rice. So, yes, share my little tip with y'all. Once the peppers start basically cooking, we get our chicken out the refrigerator. Yes, I did let my chicken marinate. All right, so we're going to put that thing on top of the pepper, and we're going to let that thing get some flavor, and we're going to wait. Oh, 
okay after like 10 12 13 minutes we're gonna flip the chicken yes 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 as y'all could see that thing is cooking yes lord it smells so nice Oh my gosh, y'all. I really wish y'all could smell through this camera. This thing smells so good. How good it smell? It smells so good that the whole building could smell my nice jerk chicken. I hope y'all follow along with me so y'all can make some good old jerk chicken for y'all peoples. All right, you guys, it's been 20 minutes that I'm checking on chicken now. I'm about to get ready to take it out, put it in a pan so I can put the next batch in. And then after that, I'll come back. So I put my chicken in the pan. They almost done. They almost cooked. They not all the way cooked. But then you go back in with your olive oil, put it in the pan, so you go with your next batch of chicken. Rice take about 23 to 25 minutes to cook. So let's just check on our rice and see how it is. I know y'all see that rice. I know y'all see that rice. See that bad tree? That's my new way of just, you know, making sure my wife come out perfect, period. Now, I'm mixing up my chicken. I like to see that browning on the chicken. I'm trying to get that thing burnt just a little bit. But, you know, we y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. Just like that.
Now, I'm finna get ready to put my marinating sauce back over my chicken before I put it in the oven so that they can marinate that jerk seasoning on that thing. <laughs> So we cutting all the big pieces in half, breaking it down, about to put that foil on top so we could put it in the oven so that marinate and sauce could bake in the chicken. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, my brother said he want him some double chocolate brownies. So, why not make some double chocolate brownies? I know how to bake, y'all. I know how to bake. I'm just trying to get these instructions in place so I won't be messing up on the camera. Okay, y'all? Bear with me. Bear with me. Just gonna cut that thing open since we were struggling or whatever. Pour it in that bowl like that there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what these instructions say. All right, da, 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 da. all right, eight. So next, I got to add water. Now we got to get our butter. We got to make sure we melt that butter before we add it into our bowl. Add the oil in that thing. Mix it on up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Matter of fact, make sure you subscribe. If you got all the way to this part of the video and you did not hit that red button, if you don't go and subscribe right now, we just finna have some problems because you can't be tuned in and not subscribe. You can't be not subscribed and not sharing my videos. So please subscribe and join the team, okay? Team Bad Ash Boo, you already know what's going on. Okay, after mixing for about five or ten minutes with my wrist hurting, we're gonna spray down our pan with some Pam butter spray. Okay, okay. Then we're going to put this good old brownie mix in this pan. Make sure it's all leveled out, even out. Make sure the chocolate all even out, leveled out. So that thing can be nice double chocolate and stuff when we cut it in. <laughs>
all right now we back to the oven and we already done set it for 450 when the chicken was in there so we ain't got no choice but to put that thing on 450 so that thing will hurry up and cook because we hungry Now, let's check on our chicken and see what it's looking like. Oh, oh, that's what I'm seeing. Oh, oh, it looks, it looks so nice. It's time to mix and flip that thing on up so the juice could get all over that chicken, Lord Jesus. For the last few couple of minutes, I like to put my chicken back in the oven with no lid on top of it. So the seasoning could basically sink in a chicken. Oh my Lord Jesus, I wish I could smell it. Okay, y'all, I'm making my brother play because he just act like he's over there dying. Like he ain't eat all day, all year long. So I'm making his play so he can finally give us a reaction of how the food tastes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God, y'all, this is the final look of the plate of our nice little meal that we done cooked. Well, that y'all watch me cook. But y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for more videos like this. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thanks. Okay, and this is... So I had took the brownies out the oven because it was clearly finished and this is me testing to see if it's all the way done. I'm pre-cutting the brownies so it won't be a hassle just to grab them and Lord I'm just struggling with this little plastic knife I got Thing look real nice. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. 
and put on the plate. This is so nice and moist chocolate. If y'all want some brownies, hit me up in my DM. I got you, but you gotta make sure you subscribe.